Hello and welcome to another Excel video with Rich Kerr. In this scenario we're going to go over just a few Excel basic functions that you'll want to have in your toolkit. Um, so I've got a list of sample data here. Uh, so if you want to pause the video and set up some sample data for yourself, go right ahead and we'll make it happen after you restart. Okay, so uh, to figure out the total for my customer values for January, I'll go to cell B13 and uh, all Excel functions of course or formulas we want to start with the equal sign and we'll use the sum function here so equals sum open paren as every function is followed by a pair of parentheses and I will select uh, a B2 through B11 and close paren so that gives me the total for that range now if I wanted to know the average uh, for the values from January I'll do uh, equals average open paren and I'll select that same range B2 through B11 close paren so now I have the average value and if I want the largest this would be the max function so equals max open paren it's essentially the same construct at this point although I'd like to point out you can type in the range you don't have to use your mouse to select so I can type in B2 colon B11 and uh, it's not case sensitive it doesn't have to be capitalized so I've used all lowercase there now if I go back to that cell and press F2 for editing you'll see that it was actually all converted to uppercase by the program so it doesn't matter how you enter that uh, for smallest we'll do equals min open paren uh, B2 through B11 close paren and so now I have the smallest value from that range and so some average max and min are fairly common functions uh, regardless as to the industry that you're in we frequently want to know uh, the total the average the biggest the smallest uh, another function that you might find useful is uh, called the large function which lets me find the second largest or the eighth largest or whatever whatever uh, number I'd like so in this case I'll do equals large open paren and the helper lets me know I need an array of values so that'll still be uh, B2 through B11 uh, comma and uh, there's a placeholder as one of the oper uh, operators or arguments for the large function and it's labeled K here so K was chosen as the placeholder for the uh, level that I'm looking for in other words if I'm trying to find the second largest K would be a value of 2 and close paren okay so equals large uh, B2 colon B11 comma 2 close paren now, unlike the other functions, the large function does not automatically inherit the accounting style numeric format. So it's just got 9,000 uh, without any formatting. So uh, I'll turn on my accounting style formatting by right-clicking and going to accounting style format. Now, as a sidebar, notice that the accounting style by default has the two decimal points, which I didn't have on my other values. So another method would be to select a cell that has the format I want and then click the format painter in my ribbon and then apply that format to that cell so I now have the formatting without the decimal points now I've got these five calculations using sum, average, max, min, and large and at present I'm only calculating the values for January so I'm going to select all uh, five of those calculations uh, and use the auto fill handle which is the little black square in the lower right hand corner and uh, drag across so that will then fill the formula across so the formula that said uh, B2 through B11 for January has adjusted automatically for uh, February to say C2 through C11 so typically when you're writing Excel formulas we're using what are called relative cell references meaning that they will adjust relative to the position they've been copied to uh, as a last thing I'll, I think I'll do an average so I'll put an average uh, header at the top. I'd like to know the average for each of the, those customers over the first quarter of the year. So I'll do equals average open paren and I'll select B2 through C2. So now I'm averaging across for each customer. And uh, in this case, now that I've got the average for customer one, uh, I could use the auto fill handle to drag down the formula. But uh, I'm going to actually just double click the auto fill handle which forces the formula to fill down 
until it encounters a blank cell in the adjacent column. So double clicking the auto fill handle, the little black square in the lower right hand corner forces the fill down. That's it. The sum average max min and the large function. Uh, I hope you'll find these useful. Please tune in again soon for more Excel videos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day.